Hey everybody, it's uh, Jose Luis Morales with uh, Remax, the real estate company. So I, I, I've got a friend who uh, called me recently and she mentioned to me that she was interested in buying real estate. Uh, but what she also uh, mentioned to me is that every time she's ever told a friend, a family member, somebody that really cares about her, that anytime she's ever mentioned something about real estate, they've always discouraged her from uh, moving forward and actually moving forward with the investment. Now, this person's obviously somebody that wants a better future for themselves, that has some money uh, saved up, and they can actually afford to buy an investment property. So uh, I was talking to her, and um, she felt like she that that the people that were advising her not to buy the property or not to buy investment properties were actually. Uh, preventing her or maybe discouraging her from that, uh, discouraging her or maybe not wanting her to succeed. That's what she felt. She's like, do these people not want me to succeed? And the way that I explained it to her, it, it's not that they don't want you to succeed. That they feel like they're protecting you because they care about you. They want to keep you safe. And sometimes people, when they give advice, they give it from uh, a perspective that I'm protecting you. I want to keep you safe. I want to keep you from danger. When in reality is that real estate investment's not bad as long as the numbers make sense. You know, obviously, I mean, there was times where people were making really bad investments. Uh, in 2005, six, seven, there were some people that obviously weren't doing their numbers right. And uh, I basically told her, like, look, dude. It's not that they don't want to see you succeed. I don't believe that, that people that care about you don't want to see you succeed. I genuinely think that these people really, really care about you. And the way that they're demonstrating to you that they really care about you is by giving you advice that's going to keep you safe. Because the reality is if you don't invest or you don't ever risk anything, then, I mean, you're going to be safe. But then again, I mean, you're going to uh, never, you're going to miss out on that opportunity, that opportunity of making, maybe making the right investment of maybe, um, uh, making a couple right investments in building some wealth. So the reality is whenever a friend, a family member, a neighbor, somebody that cares about you, uh, tells you that maybe something is not a good idea. Sometimes it, they're just trying to protect you. That, that's all that really comes down to it. It's not that they um, don't believe in the idea. It's just that they're trying to protect you. My advice to that friend is if you're looking to buy real estate, my investment strategy is always invest based on cash flow. Equity is fantasy. I mean, equity goes up. Equity goes down. The marketplace is cyclical. It, it's only realized if you actually sell the property and if you sell an investment property, then you have to pay capital gains or do a 1031 exchange. So really, there's a lot of costs associated with selling an investment property. So when I personally invest in real estate, my personal investment philosophy is buy based on the cash flow. What do I mean by cash flow? I mean buy based on the difference. What is your mortgage? How much can you rent out the property for? What is that difference? How much positive cash flow is that asset producing for you on a month-to-month -month basis? Is it slim or is it a wide margin? If it's $100, $200, hey, if something goes wrong, you may end up losing money on a month-to-month -month basis. But hey, if you have a gap of $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 uh, positive cash flow on a month-to-month -month basis, you've got plenty of cushion uh, in case something doesn't go as planned. Thank you for uh, the comments on the ring. Yeah, but you've got plenty of cushion in case something doesn't go right. So uh, my advice to her is if you're considering investing, make your investment uh, decision based on the numbers, not based on what you feel that is going to happen. And don't base it based on appreciation, on just thinking that eventually you're going to sell that asset. The selling of an asset for a profit is just the bonus. The actual cash flow of the asset is what makes the investment worth it. For example, if you're investing $100,000, how much is that asset producing you on a month-to-month -month basis? Is it producing you $100, $200? Is it producing you uh, $2,000, $1,500? What's that number? What's a good percentage for cash flow? I usually look for 15 plus, man. I know it's uh, aggressive, but uh, that's what I look for. I look for 15% plus. Most of my properties right now are producing at least 19 to 20% uh, 
uh, return on investment, meaning return on my capital. A uh, long term, it's a 30 year commitment. Never look at the equity. Yep, I, I don't look at the equity, Eddie. Um, prices are going to go up, prices are going to go down. Y the only way to really uh, be in a position where you're economy proof is to not base it based on the equity, really base it just on the cash flow. Because no matter what, I mean, for my personal investments, the three investments that I own, the market goes up, the market goes down, I don't care, to be honest. My rent is coming in every single month. The first day of the month, these people deposit their rent, I collect the rent, and the margin is enough where it makes sense, where I can afford if something breaks down, where I can afford a couple of months of vacancies and still have a profit on a, a yearly uh, statement. So essentially look at it as an investment. So uh, that's pretty much it. Unless anybody else has any questions, I think I'm going to check out. Anybody have any questions? Check out the office right here. So this is our expansion office right here. Uh, we ended up uh, leasing this office. We got a couple uh, prospecting stations right there. We have my office right here as well too. And then it's right next to the original uh, Morales Group uh, office. So uh, thank you, boss. All right, make it a great day, everybody. Uh, wishing everybody the best. Later.